So we're able to use our eraser tool to erase whatever we've drawn, but we're not able to click back on the paintbrush tool because there's no code added to it. So we want to head back over to our wind form, double click on our paintbrush icon, and then we're going to want to change the color of our paintbrush to whatever color is being used in our color box. And uh, in order to do this, we do pen dot color equals color box dot fat color. And that's it. Now if we start our application and draw a quick line, and then erase it, and then click back on the paintbrush tool, we're able to draw another line. Now the next thing we want to do is add functionality to our color box tool. So we click back to our wind form and double click on the color box. And then from here, we're going to add this logic. We're going to create a new color dialog. Call it CD equals new color dialog. And then we're, we're going to do if CD dot show dialog equals dialog result dot OK, meaning that we press the OK button on the color dialog that will appear. We're going to set our pen color to the color of the color dialog we selected. And then we're going to also change the color of the color box so we can tell which color we're using. Now once we start our application, so let's draw a line real quick and then click on the color box. And then this new color dialog will appear, so I'm going to select green and then try drawing again, you'll notice our line turns green instead, as well as the color box. Now let's add functionality to the clear button. So let's head back to the form, double click on the clear button, and then add this logic, graph.clear, and then set the color to white. Then let's make sure to invalidate our canvas. So let's do canvas panel dot invalidate. So once we start our application, and then draw a quick line and then click clear, you'll see that everything disappears. So next let's work on the save button. So going back to the form, double click on the save button. And then do save file dialog sfd equals new save file dialog. And then we're going to want to set the uh, the filter of the save file dialog to PNG files. So let's do sfd.filter equals then in quotes PNG files. This allows the user to know what extension they're going to be saving it as. And let's just write something along these lines. And then beneath that, do sfd.default extension equals in parentheses png. And then sfd.add extension equals true. So that it adds to the, the extension by default. And then we're going to do if sfd.show dialog equals dialog result dot ok meaning that we click the ok button then we're going to save the file so we're going to do surface dot save and then sfd dot file name and then system dot drawing dot imaging dot image format Dot png. This will ensure that it's saved as a PNG file. So let's start the application and then create a simple picture. Then once we hit save, a new save file dialog will come up. And then we can save it wherever, but we'll just save it to the documents as well and name it test picture. And then you notice when you head over to your documents, you'll be able to see the picture.
All right, so the last thing we're gonna wanna do is add the ability to change our brush size. And in order to do this, we're gonna click on our numeric up down, and then under events, search for value change right here. And then type in paint brush, oh, oops, paint brush size underscore change. And then from here, we're gonna do pen dot width equals the numeric up downs value cast it to a float. So we do float and then paintbrush size dot value. Then once we start our application again, start drawing and then change the size of the brush. We'll have a much more thicker brush. So that concludes our little drawing application. Of course you could go more into detail and maybe add like tablet functionality, pressure sensitivity and stuff like that. And maybe I'll do a tutorial on it if you guys are interested. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below and be sure to like the video if you liked it. All right, see you guys next time.